Hi everyone, um, this is my second YouTube video. Um, I say hello to um, everyone who saw my first YouTube video. Uh, basically, um, I want to talk a little bit more about psychiatry and mental illness because I think there are more people that speak up about um, mental illness who have had mental illness, the better it probably is. So today I wanted to talk about a very important subject called the placebo effect. Now, not many people with mental illness know what the placebo effect actually is, and I wanted to quickly explain it. Placebo is basically when you cure someone with a fake cure. Um, the most notable example I can give you is when a patient goes into the doctor's office and the doctor says to the patient, um, oh, we found this new cure from America to cure your depression. It's uh, been worked on for years with all the leading scientists and laboratory technicians behind it. Um, they finally come up with a cure and you're one of the first people to try out this new drug. So they convince the patient that, you know, this new drug is going to be of tremendous benefit. So what the doctor does, he gives the patient a tablet in the form of a sugar. Um, it, it basically, it's, a, it's in the form of a tablet, but in actual fact, it's, um, it's a piece of sugar. There's no um, medical beneficial purposes to it whatsoever. So the patient takes this um, tablet, thinking that it's, you know, something medical, but it's only a piece of sugar. And sometimes the patient is actually cured through the power of belief and conviction and the um, rapport is picked up with the doctor, the actual relationship with the doctor, if it's a good relationship, sometimes that can play a convincing part and he's cured by a placebo. And it happens all the time um, in religion. I call the master of placebo is a man and you, you've got to look him up on YouTube because you know he puts on quite a show. There's a man called Benny Hinn, and what he does is he's a televangelist. He goes on these um, crusades, as he calls them. He goes around uh, town in his private jet, and he stops off at these major arenas. And um, he calls people, you know, he gathers people together, and he puts on a show where he goes on stage with all the music and um, lighting, and, you know, he comes out all dressed in white, and um, he preaches to people, you know, he says, today Jesus is with us, oh yes, Jesus is here, and everyone raises up their hands and says, hallelujah, hallelujah, they believe him, and, you know, through the environment that they're in, and the music, and everyone believing, he calls people on stage, and it's very theatrical, and he says to them, um, you've got, you know, some kind of illness, come here, touch, touch, and he touches them and um, sometimes they drop to the floor and some of them are cured and they're cured through placebo they believe that he is um, doing the word of God they believe in you know all this um, religious rubbish they've been told because a lot of people who you know have got problems um, you know don't know very much in life and they're very gullible and they believe them and they go there and sometimes through the power of belief they're cured and it's no different to what the um, what the psychiatrists do because what the psychiatrists do is they convince you by saying um, oh we've come up with um, you know a new antidepressant it's invented by um, Klaus Schmeichel and Brian Molloy it's um, active ingredient is um, fluoxetine hydrochloride so the patient thinks oh fluoxetine hydrochloride it must be you know something medical something and then they convince you even more and they say oh it's a group of drugs known as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors it works by um, you know increasing the level of serotonin in your brain because serotonin is the pleasure chemical so what it does it it um, stops the brain from taking away the serotonin level and you'll feel happier and they make you believe and through placebo when you take this drug sometimes there may be beneficial purposes 
in psychology, they convince you, they say, um, oh, there's a thing called the unconscious mind, it's very, very complicated. Only um, if people who have been to university can understand the unconscious mind. It's made up of the id, the ego, and the superego. Very complicated things. It's better we don't go into it. I'm the psychologist. Come to me, and you go there and you talk about your childhood and through belief, and you thinking that your childhood has got something to do with you, they cure you through placebo. Now, the psychiatrists say that their drugs are tested against placebo, but considering that no one is actually cured from their mental illness, all they're really looking for is, a, you know, something, you know, just to make the patient feel slightly better. And who's to say when there's millions of pounds behind um, putting these drugs into uh, production that there isn't corruption and people don't fiddle the figures? But many people do admit that the line between placebo and the drug actually working is very thin. And in some cases they even found that the placebo works better. So it's all placebo effect. Another one on YouTube I saw was a man claiming that um, mental illness is caused by post pituitary gland deficiency. And he says oh, but we've got a case study of 4,000 patients with severe mental illness who um, demonstrated low levels in the pituitary gland and they were cured when we gave them a hormone to balance out these, um, you know, these levels. And I think to myself, who conducted the test? Oh, Mr. Page did, the, the person who wants to sell the... Um, you know, the product. Well, it's flawed from the start. It's not an independent trial. Don't even go on the internet and tell people. If anyone's cured, I don't see any reason why it's anything other than placebo. And um, in um, another example, in Italy there's a shrine called St. Anthony's Shrine and there's some remains of um, St. Anthony in Padova and people go there and they touch this shrine and some of them are cured. They're cured because they believe and even the person who, you know, says that Saint Anthony, um, you know, can cure them or whoever's doing these things, they believe that, you know, they can help you too. So, they're, it's not so much that they're um, deceiving you if they believe that that's what the problem is and then they make you believe too it's like the blind leading the blind and I'd say to people with mental illness don't be so gullible we live in a world where people lie still and cheat um, I worked in an estate agent once and we put an advert in a paper saying one bedroom flat in central London for £80 now the flat never existed it was a lie to get people to come to the office and in fact people came to the office and when they came to the office we would say oh the flat has gone here's the next one up 200 pound a week central london people lie they they corrupt they fiddle the books they change the figures accountants they're constantly fiddling the books they declare only 70 percent they you know they know all the loopholes to put things into offshore banks um, you got lawyers who are flooding a community with drugs. You got someone pretending to be an architect. In reality, they're selling pornographic material or counterfeit goods. It's a corrupt world where people, you know, are out to make money. They lie. They steal. My message to people with mental illness is: don't be so gullible. Try and figure out what happened um, in your life. Otherwise, people will. Um, make money off you and they'll take advantage of you and they're not interested really in knowing what the real cause is so my message with this video is please don't be so gullible try and use your brain and figure out why you, you went into your predicament so thank you for your time and thank you for watching